Whoa. Oh, they're watching They're it. watching Okay. This must be one of our dad's memories. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 4, Part 2, Episode 4 of Attack on Titan, Memories of the Future. So that's quite the oxymoron. We had a wild occurrence occur last episode. Aaron get his head blown off by Gabby, yes, the still sharpshooter. Still touched Zeke, though. Yep, so. still touched Zeke before his brain shut down, so they went into the Eldian interdimensional situation. world. They met Emir, and Zeke anticipated Aaron would turn on him, which he did. Now Zeke seems to be in the driver's seat and just connected with Aaron to do God knows what. Any thoughts before we enter this climactic episode? I'm wondering how everything that's happening within the coordinate is going to impact what's going on within the walls. We were left off in such a like critical place and then it just completely paused. So how is everything in terms of like Zeke and Aaron's interactions with Amir and all that stuff going to impact what was going on before they left? If you're excited, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can see several episodes ahead including these episodes and their extended uncut forms also comment down below which anime you want us to watch next we're choosing between full metal alchemist brotherhood death note and demon slayer comments below will count as votes so we'd love to see what you want us to watch next i think that's about it are we excited for season four part two episode four memories of the future absolutely all right let's get it let's go Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Bird, Bird. motif, it's back. <laughs> Baby hand. Baby. Baby Aaron. Yeah, that looked like Aaron's eyes. Little flashback. Whoa. Oh, they're watching. They're it. watching. Okay. This must be one of our dad's memories. What? He looked every mm. bit as innocent as you did. Happy they can too. go back to memory. He pushed his friends and family straight into hell. Yet there's no trace of guilt on his face. Why are you showing me this? So you'll understand who he was. He sacrificed his children on the altar of nationalism. So Eldian brainwashed us both in the can name just of go Eldia. back in time? Just wait. Soon you'll see. Just holding this little yeah, sheet. I'm gonna ruin Michelle. your life. <laughs> you built a new life somewhere so far from your old one that you could leave your mistakes behind. No one blames you here. Not for what you did to your first family. Nor for the way you forgot us. Let's go. Wait, I'm sorry. I just need to say, they can go back in time? Yeah, is that like a specifically like coordinate thing? Like they can only do that while they're in the coordinate? I think so. Yeah, but the people don't really keep memories from when they were kids. And if they do, they're very, very subjective. Memory psych is fascinating. But like every memory is so influenced and just like based on the way that you look back on it, you think that's how it was, but it really wasn't. So seeing in person as an adult, knowing everything you know now, how things actually were when you were a kid would give someone a different perspective. And I think that's what Zeke hopes is going to affect Aaron and like bring him over to the right side. Yeah, I don't think Aaron's going to buy this whole like, hey, rethink your ideology thing. That butterfly's interesting because they showed a butterfly with a broken wing in the intro. This True. new intro. Next. So there's time hopping. Mm -hmm. Look at this, Aaron. That's the real Grisha Jaeger. He used his job as a doctor to get close to powerful people within the walls. Oh. That was how he hunted down the king. He was after the founder the whole time. Oh yeah, how did he know where to go? He knew that if he ever got caught, his wife and son would pay the price with him. But he kept doing it anyway. And do you know why? Because he'd gladly drag his family through shit for Eldia. He was a shitty human being who did a shitty job as a father. 
I understand now. You've undone his brainwashing. I should have just not been born. Thanks for showing me the light. And he wants so we desperately to believe that that's world. true. No need to rush. I don't think Zeke buys it yet. No. They're just time hopping. This is wild. Through Aaron's whole life. Kenny? Kenny! Kenny! This is really fascinating though, right? Mm hmm Here already? Can't believe he found it in so little time. You know this place? The King of the Walls hid out here. That doesn't make sense. Grisha stole the Founder when the Walls fell, and that won't happen for a number of years. Hmm. Why did he wait so long? It's a new wrinkle. Huh. What is up with him? What is happening? I see. He delayed his mission for the sake of his son. He set aside his cause for his family. Oh. Would have been nice if he could have done that for me. Good for you, though. I guess losing his first family taught him to care. But even so, he passed you his banner and set you marching down his path. You'll never be the person you could have been. You'll understand that in time. I'm sorry. Please, Zeke, forgive me. <gasps> It's Whoa. you. <gasps> um, Zeke! Zeke, is that actually you? What? What? Um, he can they see can them? They can be seen in this state? <sighs> oh, no. Stupid. It's a vision. Even if Zeke could get here, he wouldn't be old and bearded. No. No. It might be a dream. Yeah, he thinks it's a dream. What is this? Next. We're finished here. Right? What just happened? He didn't know his dad was remorseful and cared about him, but at least a little bit. I more mean the talking to them. Risha in the past communicating with them right now? He saw Zeke. Yeah, but he thought it was a dream. Of course you'd think it was a dream if you saw an adult version of your son standing before you. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he said, oh, he wouldn't be bearded and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That means he literally saw them. Yeah. This is different than memories. They are going back to these times and looking. Huh. Don't you think? It seems like they have to be, but then why weren't they seen in any of the other I think they were memories. It, 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 maybe something different happened that time. Yeah, because I feel like that has to be unique. Otherwise, they would have been seen beforehand. And does that mean that Grisha saw Zeke in real life too? Like back in that time? Like are they altering history by doing this? Well, Grisha thought it was a dream. So that's not going to really impact like the way he is. That's true. Mm -hmm. But the whole remorseful thing, you're totally right. Because he already found the thing and years later only then acted upon it. That means he did choose his family over the mission for a while. Mm -hmm. What do you think that did to Z? I mean, that's just going to cause intense jealousy, realizing that he did have it in him, just not for his family or for him. So that's really sad. And I feel like that's going to make him hate his dad more. But the interesting thing, typically when parents are estranged from their children, it's very, very common for kids to demonize everything because it's significantly easier to just write them off as a horrible person and everything they did was bad. I think he had completely painted a picture of Grisha in his mind and then seeing that he held guilt for what he did is going to put a crack in that image he has in his mind of his father. Season 4, Part 2, Episode 4, Memories of the Future. 
So they're oh, continuing baby. this pathway through his life. Wow. Fisher truly cared for you. He let you grow up normally. He never recruited you into the Eldian Restoration Movement. Yeah. I said you were wasting your breath. We've been wandering through years of his memories for nothing. But if that's true, then what could have driven you to betray me? He forced you to inherit the Attack Titan without telling you a thing. So what was it that made you decide to carry on his battle? He wants to. <laughs> Aaron, right? He agrees with him. Why not bring an end to centuries of war? And if peace wasn't your goal, why seek the Founder's power? Because... Since the day I was born... Bird motif? This is who I've been. When you learned you had a brother, you thought he'd be the same as you. But you were wrong. If someone tries to steal my Grisha freedom was from horrified me, that Aaron did I'll that. Take theirs mm -hmm. first without a second thought. Mm. Damn it. It wasn't because of anything Dad did. I came into this world ready for a fight. Since the day you were born. I'm not some pathetic little boy in need of a big brother's guidance. And if you were hoping we'd bond over our shared emotional scars, you are out of luck. Here's what you've shown me, Zeke. You resent your dad because he cared more about restoring Eldia than raising his son. Opposing him is all you can think to do with your life. Yeah, that's what you were saying. You've shown me a pathetic man, still haunted by the ghost of his father. That could be the case. So they can't be seen Perhaps now. this man should be grateful mm -hmm. to his father. It was his miserable upbringing that exposed him to the truth of the ongoing threat that Eldia poses to the world. In a way, that man's father is helping him put an end to that threat. Seems more than a little ironic. Right, Aaron? It's All this there. moment. Please understand. The power of the Founder is completely under my control. There's no way to stop me from carrying out the euthanization plan. That said, I won't move on if it means abandoning you. Hmm. I'm going to do for you what Mr. Sava did for me. Okay, this is a I noble will save you, Aaron. thing. And then I'll save the world. His parting words. Mankind isn't gone, he says. Huh. Oh, he's writing the book. That's quite mm -hmm. the revelation he left behind. Kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. It's a really full circle moment. Yeah. The key thing that started it all. Is he hey, seeing him we're now? Home. Welcome back, kids. Oh my goodness! Someone's working hard to keep us in fuel. Whatever. That's where Mika says exposes him. What was that for? It looks like your earlobe's red, which means you've got something to hide. Mika's helped you again now, didn't she? Hey, where are you Aaron's to, mom Dad? seems like a pretty pure soul. A patient? Yeah. Yes, some folks in the interior. I should be back in about a week or so. Hmm. So, um... Aaron's thinking about joining the scouts. Way to keep a secret mouth! Get that ridiculous thought out of your head this instant, young man! No son of mine is going to be fodder! Do I make myself absolutely clear? Stop yelling at me! Don't you dare! Outside. <gasps> it's a nightmare, you have no idea. Uh, yeah, I get it, okay? But it's gotta Back be to better than one. this life! I'm not stupid. I know it's ugly out there. I know there's death around every corner. But we can't just give up on it. Because otherwise this nightmare's never going to end! I see. Excuse me. I'll be late for the ferry. Darling, wait! Scold the boy, for heaven's sake! Scold him? Dear, please, think this through. 
Mere words won't hold back the boy's curiosity. What a parallel. Aaron, behave yourself, and I'll let you in on what I've been doing down in the cellar. Agree? <gasps> yes, sir! You got it! Have a good trip! Oh, he knows. I mean, he's going to get the frickin' king. Mm -hmm. And this is what Aaron Please saw when he listen. touched his story. Mm -hmm. I'm an Eldian who came from beyond the walls. I am a subject of Emir. Just like all of you. Okay, so this is what Aaron saw that kind of changed his mentality. Mm-hmm. That was like the Historia moment. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, my guess is it's something in the discussion of the no war pledge. Like whatever logic or justification the king has. Because I, I can't imagine that it's just like this, like, nope. We're not going to do it. Like, there has to be some sort of reasoning behind it. Otherwise, people would pick up on the fact that it seems like there's something else kind of running the show. So maybe hearing about what that reasoning is, hmm. is what makes the difference. Okay. I That would propel Aaron to be less fighting, right? He would Not necessarily. I think maybe if he hears it and then can, like, poke holes in it, it's not a fully fledged thought or theory. Maybe how his dad responds. Hmm. Something about how that interaction goes. You know, that's vague as shit. See, Something my... about what happens changes. <laughs> yeah. Here's the question I have. Are they actually going back to these times? Because it looks like Grisha was looking Aaron in the face when he said, like, I'll show you what's going on in the cellar mm -hmm. later. Was he seeing him is a question. And then my other thing is maybe when Aaron touched his story's hand, did he see the scene, but also see him and Zeke? Like, was that what he saw? And he was like, uh, how the hell is that possible? That's a good point. Because he had this face of shock and horror after he touched her hand and mm -hmm. then changed. I guess that's my thinking, but I have no idea. I yeah. just have no idea. King of the walls, I beg you, kill the titans attacking Wal Maria before my wife and children and thousands of others are all eaten alive. This is significant. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Yep. That's Founder's Eyes. The Day of Judgment has finally come. And we, as subjects of Ymir, must now reap the wages of our sins. Uh. When it comes to great and terrible power, humankind is weak. This was proven many times during the Great Titan War. Such is the power of the Titans, that in human hands it inevitably brings ruin. The power of the Founder, if returned to the weak-willed custody of man, would plunge the world once more into hell. Hmm. Eldia's sins are what brought this terror, so to save the world and put it to rest, we Eldians must embrace death. I'd say she about summed up my argument for me. So why didn't but he? But it fell on deaf ears. Grisha huh? slaughtered her entire family. You've seen this part. You mentioned it when we first met. I recall you saying that what he did was a mistake. Was that a lie too? I live in the Shiganshina district with my family. Our house is by oh. Wall Maria near the breach. My wife and children are directly in the Titan's path. How are you willing to condemn everyone in the walls to death for the crimes of their ancestors? They don't even know about those crimes. You stole their memories. They'll die between those monsters' jaws, ignorant and scared. Can you honestly call that atonement? No. Proper atonement is beyond our ability. The oh. lives stolen by the Eldian Empire can never be returned. They are lost. However, what we can do is refuse to take any more lives, at least outside the walls. If we can just live out our lives in ignorance, and then accept the world's rage when it comes, then no one will have to die. Except Aaron does Eldian. not look happy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There's nothing you can say to dissuade me from this Did course. Did Grisha just see him? What's more, even if you were he to turned defeat and me and steal the founding titan, you wouldn't be- I know. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to make use of the founder's power. <laughs> Each of the nine is unique, distinguished by a certain trait. Like the attack titan, whose power was passed to me. For ages, we who've inherited the attack titan have bucked the authority of any who sought to control us. 
And I've finally come to understand why. We're meant to oppose the self-righteousness of the king. Yes, this must be the moment our memories have been leading us toward for generations. Whoa. The power of the attack titan offers us brief glimpses into the lives of those yet to inherit it, meaning it allows us to witness events in the future. Whoa. He what did witness the future? What does that mean, Aaron? The attack titan can see into the future? How have I never heard? I came here knowing that you would be ignorant on that subject. It's a consequence of the way you've been shackled by the vow renouncing Whoa. war. You can't use the Founder's full power either. The future is already long since decided. I'm going to eat the Founding Titan and bring an end to the royal bloodline right now! Run! <laughs> Whoa. What? I can't do it. Oh. What? I'm a doctor. My job is to save lives. I would never murder innocent children. Oh. How could I? No, this can't be. Wait, Wait so does Aaron do it? Wait, does Aaron? The founder. Be no way. The whole royal family. So how? How? It's in the past. It can't just change. He said he wouldn't do it. So how did it happen? Frida? You need to kill that man right now. He's no match for the founder. Crush him before he can run. Frida, if you let that man leave here alive, he'll ruin everything. You have to, Frida. You know that. Don't let him destroy the paradise we built. Wait, is Aaron Frida! gonna somehow influence the past here? Us. She got her eyes back, no longer mm -hmm. the founders. On your feet, Dad. You're not done yet. Um. In case you've forgotten, you have your own reasons for coming. You had a little sister till that man fed her to his dogs. He's <gasps> literally Dick. influencing the past. Your slaughtered comrades of Kruger. Of or maybe Dyer. this is why the past happened Fix this way. Them. Yeah. Well, but he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Keep moving forward. Even if you die. Even after you die. Oh my god. Aaron literally changed it. This whole ugly story. Well, he didn't change it because that's what happened initially. Yeah. Aaron, in this outer time reality, went back and caused the past to happen. Yeah. What the hell? That's... Holy shit. So Zeke now knows that what happened wasn't his dad's fault, it was Aaron's. Yeah, this has been Aaron the whole time. It wasn't his dad's brainwashing. No. And, and Grisha wouldn't have gotten the Founding Titan to give to Aaron had Aaron not, in the future, gone back and forced him to keep fighting. Wow. Holy shit. So okay. all this time he's like, my dad's ideology, I have to figure out, like, why did he do this? It was Aaron the whole time. Mm -hmm. And had Zeke not been bringing him on this memory journey, Aaron wouldn't have been able to do that. I bet you that's what Aaron saw. He was like... Oh, that he had to and it was, like, inevitable? That, that he, yeah, that he saw himself making him, like, continue to do the task. Mm -hmm. And he was like, how is this even possible? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, so Grisha didn't even want to do it. Mm -hmm. It was Aaron the whole time. Oh my god. That's what he saw, yeah. Zeke's freaking terrified. Mm -hmm. and Zeke didn't know about the future seeing powers of the attack titan. No one did. No. Is that enough for you? 
talking to his son. What? Will crushing those children in my hands really bring Ellie back? Really bring Why who back? Eldia. Eldia. So to show me. I Maybe. never saw the fall of the walls. What becomes of my home? Is Carla going to make it? Yes. Not sure about that one. Was there no other way forward? Was this really the right choice? <sighs> You're here watching me now, right, Zeke? So he saw that too. Nothing knows. is going to go the way you'd hope. Aaron will so he knows that. He wants. Oh. What do you mean? How could you know? I've seen it. I've witnessed Aaron's memories. What humanity is about to endure is far worse than I could imagine. Oh. <gasps> what is Aaron about to do? Zeke. How is it worse than anything we know That's already? You, yeah. You oh my god. So I'm sorry. I know I was never the father you deserved. After all I put you through. You have every right to despise me. <laughs> but even oh. so, I will always love you. If only I'd let you be my son instead of trying to make you a soldier. <laughs> he's got and that's what he's always wanted to hear. He's got to destroy Zeke's perception of everything. Yeah. Because the entire time he's been like dismissing everything bad Aaron's done because it was Grisha's fault, and it's yeah. literally the reverse. Oh my god. Oh, father. Please, Zeke. You have to stop oh boy. Aaron. <gasps> um. Well. Ooh. Okay, so oh, we're back. We're back. And Aaron, is he still chained up? And now up? Zeke knows everything. Oh boy. Or not everything. Are you kidding? It never gets easier, but it does get worse. You're as powerless as ever. No, this is when the attack oh. titan. Shit, for that oh. attack titan power come in handy. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god, he escaped though. Though it's been Aaron this whole time. This entire time. All throughout this entire show. He's been the driving force. And we thought it was like, oh, this is like this thing that's been put onto him. Oh, what an unfair burden. Nope. It's Aaron the whole time. Holy shit. Okay. Well, he's still in shackles though. And Zeke Maybe is Maybe that's at part him. of his plan. Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, if Aaron has the attack titan powers, he probably saw into the future, saw everything that was going to happen, then just kind of followed the steps. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you for watching that episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you enjoyed it. Slash, we're terrified by it. And are excited for our next episode. That is episode five of season four, part two. And that is coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to watch that episode, along with several other episodes ahead, including these, check out the Patreon link in the description below where they're already posted in their extended uncut forms. For now, we're going to go do a discussion section led by the incredible questions by our amazing Patreon members. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions, join the Patreon at any level and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Chris Tahan asks, So, this show's most mind-blowing episode has been revealed. Did you ever think that this would have been possible? Absolutely not did not years. see that coming whatsoever. I didn't see it, it coming just... at all. Aaron did. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, that's gonna change literally everything. God, I cannot wait for the rewatch. Dude. Like this, I feel I feel like we keep saying, like, oh, this is gonna change everything. This is gonna this is gonna change everything. everything. Aaron and Zeke can both go back in time and literally change events. Mm -hmm. Not so much change as like be the reason that they happen, yeah, but they still actively still them. have to do it. Yeah. The fact that it's been Aaron's mentality this whole time. Yeah. That the possibilities opened up are ridiculous. And I wonder, first of all, how Aaron's gonna get out of these shadows. Shackles yeah. and do anything. And second of all, how Zeke is going to try to stop him. How about that flip to think that Grisha was the worst thing in his life and hating him this whole time and now it being Aaron instead? Yeah.
Yeah. Even though Aaron was the one he was trying to save. That's yeah. Wild. Wow. And he had everything blamed on Grisha, including how awful Aaron was, and it's literally the inverse. Let's go to our second question. All right. Lars asks, the events of this episode illuminate a new side of each Jaeger to the audience, as well as each other. How has it changed your past perceptions of these characters? Wow. So, good, great question. Mm-hmm. The fact that Grisha wanted to not go through with taking the king and killing all of the kids, because, I mean, he said he was a doctor. He wants to save lives. It makes so much sense with this character. Yeah. And the fact that also, you know, what really is popping into my head, the moment where the commandant was following Grisha into the forest where he was going to give Aaron the attack titan yeah. and founding titan, where he's like, this boy's not like you and me. Like, he's different. Yeah. He knew that Aaron had these powers. Sure, while he was very bad to Zeke and was a bad father then, in the future, like, he does try to change, but Aaron literally forced him back. It makes me see Grisha in a more positive light. Mm -hmm. It makes me see Aaron in a awful light, the fact that he is causing all this to happen. And Zeke, the one that I thought I would hate the most out of all of them, I feel bad for in a way, because he, at the end of the day, was Loki trying to do a noble thing. Yeah, well, and seeing that interaction between him and his dad and just seeing how all he really wanted was to be Grisha's son and not a soldier and that's what Grisha ultimately wanted to or wished he could have done for him and then Aaron's face at the end oh of that God. yikes terrifying um very very scary this does explain why Aaron's been the way he has this whole season. Yeah, no, like, for sure. He, I think when he touched the story's hand, he must have seen himself telling Grisha to keep going. Yeah. And was like, oh. Oh, it's been me the whole time. It's been me. So therefore, when he's like, I am free, nobody's influencing me, he was kind of, he was right. Yeah. It is him. Mm-hmm. It, he's the main character. <laughs> Grisha's whole thing has been freedom for Eldia, which in theory, and this would be terrible because tons of lives would be lost, but if they trigger the rumbling and those titans kill everyone except the Eldians, I mean, that's not really what Grisha wants, but that would be freedom for Eldia. Let's go to our final question. Looking back on where Aaron started in this show, do you believe that Aaron has grown and changed over the years, or do you believe that he's fundamentally still the same person? I think he's grown and changed in the sense that he's had like his own personal experiences. And I also think that the idea of like having the memories of something and then physically living it yourself are two different things. So I do think he's kind of changed and grown, but with the same direction that he was always going to have. I think kind of similarly, I think think that if you look like ogres have layers, if you look at Aaron like an onion, and you're just peeling back all these layers of <laughs> hatred, all these layers of, you know, him taking the war hammer, him attacking Liberio, him stopping Reiner, him stopping Beartold, like all of these things he did, if you peel it back and peel it back, the very center of it is just this want for freedom and fighting. And he has never not had that. Mm-hmm. Except for when he was told by Rod Rice, yeah, Aaron taking the founding Titan was the reason that none of this could resolve correctly. Yeah. Like that was when he was like, oh, I don't want to fight. But then he came back to it. Right. But I think at his core, he's always been somebody who wants to fight, always been someone who wants freedom for his people. But I think that when he touched his story, his hand and when he gained. So now I will go back to my previous mm-hmm. theory. It did change him when he touched his story, his hand and when he saw all of the events that were going to transpire, I think his method of how to obtain it and his the lengths he would go to to get it changed. Because I don't think he would have been willing to hurt as many people. Right now, it seems like he's ready to kill literally everyone except Eldians with the rumbling. And I don't think he would have done that given the chance as a kid. So therefore, he must have changed in a way. Hmm. But I think at his core, he has the same beliefs. But in his practical actions, he has grown and changed as he's learned more about the abilities he has access to. And the heinous, awful things that have been done by the outside world to his people. So I think he has remained the same person, but grown as the world has shaped him. Yeah. I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. All right. I think that's about it for this episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for our next episode. That is episode five of season four, part two. We've been told that it's a pretty, pretty big one. Pretty momentous episode. We cannot be more excited, but if you can't wait and want to watch that episode along with several other episodes of season four, part two now, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where they're already posted in their extended uncut forms. All right. Are we excited for season four, part two, episode five of Attack on Titan? Can't wait. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Thank you.